Amazing, Laura. Even when I foresee your movements, you counter me instantly. I couldn't do it without Hazel's power. What about you? I don't see you using Mithra's hidden ability. And what if we did? Well, if you did... I just have to bring out my original blade. Master Adam. Your evening meal is ready for you. Oh. Is it that time already? The days are so long at this time of year. I just start losing track. Oh. Finished already? That's a shame. I was hoping to join in. Join in? By yourself? His Majesty has many pressing matters to attend to. Besides, I'm used to working alone. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. That's their very nature. You're not at full strength without him. It's not so simple as all that. I know I've yet to unlock the depths of your power. Really? I feel like I've been giving it my all. But you never stop growing. At any rate, Hayes' ability to restrict other blades is indispensable. It's perfect for training. We're lucky. When she stops me using my foresight, it's certainly difficult. Oh, but you honor me too much. I'm just happy to help you both in any way I can. Next to each other like that, you really do look like twins, you two. It's rare for the driver's nature to appear so strongly in their blade. People tell me that from time to time, but is it really true? Perhaps. But whatever the reason, I am happy if I look even a little like you, my lady. We're even the same dress size. Right? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we want to try taking you on next, Jin. Well, how about it, Jin? I'm afraid I don't particularly like fighting. And to think we're hearing that from the strongest man in Torna. But perhaps there's truth in those words. After all, he, or rather, they, My lord, my lady, we've discovered Malos's target. The capital. What? Are you sure? Yes, no doubt about it. Who are you? I am Fan Lenorn. Envoy for the Indoline Praetorium. Oh, uh, hi. You are Rex, am I correct? Praetor Amalthus requests an audience. Please, come with me. You're joking, right? What would the Praetor want with me? The Praetorium manages every blade and driver in all rest. And, as you are the driver of the Aegis... The Praetorium wants that power for itself. Not at all, my lady. The Praetor would like to meet his fellow Aegis driver. He wishes to speak to Master Rex. That is all. His fellow... You don't mean... Indeed. The Praetor is Malus's driver. <gasps> 
There is another matter. I believe you currently have a certain dagger in your possession? You know about that? Why, yes. I can tell. The Praetor is its original owner, after all. <gasps> so the Praetor... He's Cole's driver as well? Yes. Come off it. Just how old is he? The current Praetor is Indoline. It's not that hard to believe. The Indoline do live long lives. Oh, right. Well, that would explain why Cole said the dagger's owner would know how to get to the World Tree. Well, what do you say? You certainly won't regret it. An audience with Praetor Amalthus is an honor. Uh, hey, uh, w wait a second. I wouldn't buy it, Rex. This is too good to be true. What do you think, Mithra? You noticed, right? As soon as we met Cole? Yes. Though I had no idea that man had become the Praetor, of all things. Should we? There's a lot I want to ask him. I want to know about what happened after I went to sleep. And, of course, how it is that you happen to be here, Fan. All right, then. I want to meet him, too. In fact, we might have no other choice. Ace. Lady Mithra, what are you doing out so late? Can't you sleep? At this time of year, the nights can be bitter. Please don't catch a cold. I'm a blade. We don't exactly catch colds. Of course. My apologies. Hayes, you really don't remember? Hmm? I'm afraid you have me mistaken. I am Fan Lenorn, blade to Praetor Amalthus. Right. Amalthus. Sorry, my mistake. You just reminded me of somebody I know. It is quite cold, isn't it? I might go back to my room, after all. Yes. Good night, Lady Mithra. Night, Fan. Mithra, did you see her core crystal's shape? I saw. That's not normal resonance. It's not like with us and Rex, either. I guess this is one more question for the Praetor. Sorry. Let's change over it, I have to think. Sure. No problem. That was a cool cutscene. Can we just talk about how Hayes is a much cooler name than Fan? Uh, you can now summon Mestera or Pyra depending on Rex's requirements. Switch them outside of battle, go to the main menu, characters, Pyra, or Mithra, and press Y. Uh, during battle, you can switch them by pressing the, assign, the button assigned to Pyra and Mithra's blade switch icon. There's no cooldown timer. Okay, that is broken. I I test it. Wait, why, right? Oh yes. We can now freely use them. We're going to stick with Mithra though, because she is like a lot better. Let's just talk to people because Mithra needs it. Okay, we'll talk to Fan a little later. Can we just call her Hayes? That's a lot cooler. We're probably just gonna end up calling her Hayes. Alright. You. There's still quite some time left before we reach Endal, and I'm sure you must be tired. Yes.
Is it working? Yes. I can hear the Blade's voices now. Come with me. Akos has found something very interesting. Very well. Hey, look at this. Temperantia. Rumor had it that Morardane were conducting an excavation there. So I thought I should check it out and, uh... It's changed a lot, but this shape... That's a Judicium Titan weapon. Judicium? I know that name. Right. It was destroyed. A casualty of the Aegis War. And it's where the Flesh Eaters were created. Is that so? What now? If it's a threat to us, it should be destroyed. Or... We could make use of it. Damn it all! I can't believe this! Hello, Petroka. And a very good day to you, too. Don't tell me. No, don't worry about that. We got the goods, no problem. Well, that's something. So, why the temper tantrum? And that's how it went down. Long story short, we had to make a run for it. And you're sure it wasn't your ether field that was disturbed? A female blade from Indol. Jin, it's Hayes. No doubt about it. Jin? Mikhail, how goes the work on the Marsanis? Oh, that's no problem. It'll take a little longer than I thought, but we'll get there. And Dakos? Where's the Aegis right now? Near the Leftherian Archipelago. She's on the move, maybe on a ship. Maybe they're heading for Indol. Hmm? Where are you? Temperantia. To buy some time. What about the Aegis? If that man gets into her head... Not happening. That's not how Mithra works. In fact, she'll be a big help to us. After all, only an Aegis can open up the path to the World Tree. Malus, there's a lot of work to be done on what we got from the Guild. You guys, stay here and help Mikhail. I'll go to Temperatia. Alone. Fine by me. Very well. Take care of yourself. That guy. Amazing. It looks like a mountain of clouds. The Leftherian Archipelago. Indol is currently positioned beyond the Cloud Ridge. It would take quite some time to sail around. So we'll be traveling over land from here. I suppose not even a Titan ship could surpass such an obstacle. If we have to walk, we'd best get moving now. It's been a while. Hmm. Must be five years. Rex, have you been here before? It's where I grew up. Me and Gramps are from Fonset Village. Just over the ridge here. <laughs> I wouldn't have pegged you for a left Therian. So this is your home. Well, I guess it'd be quickest for me to lead the way from here. We just need to get over the ridge, right? Indeed. The delegation from Indol will meet us there.
Roger that. We'll leave it to Rex Rex. Lead the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't get an inflated head. We're just following the islands, you know. Hey, it's still dangerous. There's a lot of tough monsters around these parts. Well, I won't deny that. So how are we going? Uh... What about Vonset? What about it? Will we pass it? I mean, we could go that way. Let's do it. I mean, let's visit your village. Okay, calm down. Someone's rather excitable. Not like normal, Pyra. Uh, I mean, don't you want to see the place where Rex grew up? Sure, but I'm not getting my ears in a twist. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That route's probably one of the safest we could take. How about it? I'll leave the decision to you. Then let's do it! We'll head off as soon as we're ready. Yeah! Hey, what are you still doing here anyway? I volunteered to come along. I'm acting as a representative of the Empire. Is there a problem? No, not at all. The Praetorium has extended an invitation to the Aegis. We would not wish to conceal this information from the other nations. Oh, yes. That's the Praetorium for you. Impartial to the last, eh? Indeed. That's not a problem for you, is it, Nia? Sure, we're best friends now. I'll get over to throwing me in jail one day. Now, now, my lady. Morag and Bridget are on our side. That's much safer than the alternative. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Come on, Nia, lighten up. It was all a big misunderstanding. They helped us out and everything, remember? You're such an idiot sometimes. I'm an optimist. Call it what you want. You're still an idiot. Ugh. OK, fine. It's water under the bridge. Go on. Friends, yeah? <sighs> Very well. Friends it is. Okay, we're putting more egg because she's just better, seems like. And now we just run all the way to Bonset because, like I've been saying, fighting these normal mobs are really not worth it because they give like no XP. Like, I'll kill one for an example. Just in case this is like your first time watching this. So let me just go find one that I can kill real quick. If. Okay, no. Not that thing. That thing is going to murder us. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll just go straight. You're not going to aggro, right? You wouldn't do that. That's right. Don't circle. Do not circle. I need to pass this area. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, um... Here, that level 34 thing, why not? Go ahead and kill this thing real quick. Yeah, you, you can already see how long this is taking. Yep. This is this is why I don't fight random mobs. It just takes so long. Like it doesn't even matter how fast I do it or like how good I do it. It's still going to take so long. Oh yeah, I wanted to see the switch thing. So I just press up, right? Then I can switch again. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. What if I do this? And then I switch to Mesera? Okay, never mind. I thought that was gonna be like the corniest thing I can ever do. Alright. And like, 
someone have burnout ready? Or do I have to do this myself? I really don't want to do this myself. But we're just going to keep toppling. Come on. Come on, Nia. Why'd you switch? Oh my god, she's switch. Why would you do that? But yeah, you can see how long this is taking. And I'm not willing to go for that long just for however many XP I'm getting. 11,000? Yeah, that didn't kill it. I do not want a chain attack. That is a waste of a chain attack. Do that. And yeah, we can kill it right now. There we go. Look at that, only 246 XP. And we need... How much? We need, um... 21... Or 2,194, so I have to kill like 10 of those. When I can just do one small boss fight. And gain like a level or two. So... Yeah, I'm not gonna actually fight these other guys unless I actually have to. Because it's just not worth it. You get like no XP. The items they drop sometimes are good. Well, it depends on what I'm fighting. I'm pretty sure that these guys drop something. Some of them. But that's a, that's a time for later. When we actually need to grind out some items so yeah we'll just run to Fonset since that's the fastest thing to do and well a lot easier too since we're just sprinting nothing is really going to aggro us for that long we might get chased a bit but that's not a, that much of a problem is there anything worthwhile in this island? 32? Yeah, we're just gonna run. Ow. Just gonna run. They can't hurt us if we just keep running. Except for that bird, maybe. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. I can't see the map. Where's the, where's the place where we have to go? Um, I should probably stop aggroing everything. This way? Yes. It's here. Okay. We're fine. Not really. That thing is over there. Okay. I'm going to not aggro this guy. Because we will get one tapped. Maybe two tapped. But that's not enough of a difference. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. We're okay. And now we just go to Fonset. Which, why is it only 200 meters? We're, I'm pretty sure we're not here yet. I guess we won't really complain about it. Nope, we're, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna sprint our way out of here. If we don't die. I hope we don't die. We're so close to the checkpoint, or whatever it's called. Come on. We can do this. I've never seen anything like this. A tunnel through the clouds? It's because this archipelago is formed of many smaller titans. The forces between the titans bend the cloud sea into this shape. There is a large titan as well, at the center of the Cloud Mountains. Though, being within the Cloud Sea itself, you won't find humans living on it. The small titans seem to like clustering around the larger one, and that's what forms the archipelago. Wow! So many amazing things to see in world! Master Bon should get out more often.
Working inside all day, bad for mind and body, you know. Tora on wonderful adventure with Rex Rex right now, though. Days of staying inside all day are long gone. Yeah, you're a driver. Just like us now, Tora. Meh meh. Tora appreciates support from friend Rex Rex. And now we continue our sprint. Thousand, thousand meters away. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just be, go over there real quick. Okay, so there's a heart to heart here. I almost died like four different times, but here we go. Poppy. I was just thinking how curious it is. Even though you look completely different, you're still the same Poppy. Poppy very strange. Even Tora thinks so sometimes. Even though you made her? That right. She grew so much. Bam! All at once. Perhaps friends could call Poppy by her model name? Oh, very good idea. What do you mean by model name? Well, Poppy's smallest mode actually has name Poppy Alpha. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And this form called Poppy Quixotic Tutelar. Wow, that is a very impressive name. If friends refer to Poppy as Poppy Quixotic Tutelar when in this form, Poppy very happy. Well, that's a little bit of a mouthful. Quixotic Tutelar. True, true. It difficult to say. Distinction of Poppies may be too hard now. Really? Yes. In fact, Tora worked secretly on even more improved mode for Poppy. When that finished, must differentiate between whole three different modes. But that far too much bother. Poppy! That nice and simple. Best way to call. Um, what's Poppy's third mode like? That is actually a good question. What's Poppy's third mode like? That excellent question! It's called Quantum Techno Champion Pie. That is another very impressive name. It sounds powerful. Name came to Tora suddenly when he decided whether to enter swimming pool with left or right foot. Name origin stories sound completely irrelevant. So, how exactly are you going to remodel Poppy? Mm, Tora not decided yet. Oh, really? Name only first step in process. Sound like it not happen anytime soon. It not take that long. Tora brainstorm day and night. Suddenly one day new design will appear like ether bulb overhead. That just how inventors do. If Master Pon say so. When inspiration strike, Master Pon power up Poppy ASAP. Please trust in Master Pon. Understood. But if Poppy had breath, Poppy would not hold it. You not trust Master Pon at all. <laughs> Appearances may change, but Poppy will always be Poppy, huh? Okay. So that form, we're, we're going to die. We're going to die. Where do we go? Okay. Okay, so as I was saying, that form is literally going to be called Cutie Pie. Because no one is going to say that name. And that name doesn't even fit with the names anyway. That's why they just called her Poppy Cutie. Oh my gosh, these names for Poppy is actually so corny. We have Poppy Alpha, which is fine. We have Poppy QT, or as I'm pretty sure most people say, QD. And now we have QT Pi, which is, I'm for sure, like 100% sure that's going to be what it's called. Oh man. Well, we have to find a way to do that. But that's for another time. We're in Fonset and we're getting chased down by a bunny.
<laughs> that takes me back. What the hell? You wouldn't catch me dead doing that. Don't knock it till you try it. It's how we all learn to swim in the clothes. You mean you did that too? Yeah, of course. It came in really handy when I became a salvager. I can't stand it on there. It's not like water. Feels like the clouds are wrapping around you. Hmm, and you don't like heights either. You get used to it really quick. Hey, you want to give it a go? What? Hey, no! You get away from me! Don't touch me! Stop that, Rex. Don't tease her. All right, all right. Honestly, when are you going to grow up a little? Very impressive. We've refitted the drivetrain to use our Demian technology. All of the control mechanisms have been beautifully preserved, so we should be able to finish relatively soon. Finally, we will be able to compensate for our forces' depletion. A gourmet struggle takes its toll. Sir. And there are no safety concerns, I trust. The explosion three months ago was most unfortunate. Or had you forgotten? We've been running a sedative drip through the Titan's fluid since then. No further difficulties. We've also encased the back end in composite steel. That should withstand sustained enemy fire. Even if it were to be blown up, well, it'll be in enemy territory. A pedic victory, I'd say. Well, the crew will have escape pods. Escape pods? Are you sure you don't mean coffins? I mean... Uh... <laughs> Judicium. The dead nation that realized Flesh Eater technology. I cannot say... I find their creations tasteful. I'm aware you do not agree with the principle of fusing blades with human cells. Few people do. Not what I mean. I'm sorry, sir. Well, then what exactly do you? It's said that flesh eaters were created in the quest for ever stronger blades. But is that really true? What I see in them is the shadow of a people scrabbling to prolong their existence. I look at them and see ourselves. That is what I despise. I will leave for Indol shortly. Much remains to be done. Okay, and now we're going to have another cutscene, like up here. This is exactly why it's so hard to make shorter videos. Rex! 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 Whoa, Kirk! Kazuna, you guys sure have grown. And hey, is that really? That's our Mark. He'll be going away to school in Indol soon, thanks to the help you've been sending us. Auntie Corinne, good to see you. Well, this is quite a welcome. I didn't realize you were sending your money home. That's very admirable for such a young man. Oh, huh? Oh, old lady have lots of little ponds. Master Pond, these clearly not all little ponds of same parent. My word, is that old Azurda there? What have you gone and done to yourself? That would take some explaining. Incidentally, 
Is there some way you could put us up for the night? Long day and all. Is there some way? Don't give me that. Stay for as long as you like. What's mine is yours. Thank you. Auntie, thank you so much. I think I'll go for a bit of a walk first, though. Ah, yes. Leave your friends with me. Pyro, could you come along too? <laughs> oh, of course. Right then, come with me, all of you. headed with only pyra <laughs> we're going to talk to as many people as we can because why not there we go pretty sure they don't really matter right this is mostly because of mithra because she apparently wants me to talk to people all right talk to you too where are we even going? I actually should figure that out first. That way. More eggs here. Here we go. Another one. I'm hoping this counts for Mithra while Pyra's out. Yeah, if it doesn't, then that kinda sucks. Talk to Dromark. Talk to Dromark. Here we go. And we'll just talk to this guy and we'll just go back. Or we'll just go up here. Yeah. Okay. Where are we? These are my parents' graves. What? Sorry. I guess I never properly told you about myself. I'm... No, it's fine. I'm sorry. I never thought to ask. I wanted you to meet them, though. To meet them? How do you mean? Hey. Mom? Dad? It's been a while. A ton happened, you know? I became a driver. And this girl... is Pyra. My new partner. I know you'd love her. We... We're going to Elysium. Pyra and me. I don't know what's coming next, but you'll be watching over us. Right, guys? Rex? Right. Let's head back. Okay. Okay, now we know what happened, and now we just head back, and I will not talk about what just happened any further, because that would be kind of messed up. Now just go here, and then, I don't know what's happening. Are we just going to rest for the night? Probably. Did she just... They a stranger? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm so sorry making you wash up like this. No, no, don't worry about it. I don't have to be in a fight to be able to help people. I like it. You're a dear. Rex is very lucky you're around. He's never brought a girl to meet me before. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. I'm just Rex's blade. Is that so? 
You do hear of blades and drivers getting married a lot in the old stories. Uh... This is a lovely village. <laughs> Everyone's so warm and carefree. It's removed from everything, you see. I think if everyone could live like this, the world might be a happier place. You know, between you and me, I think, deep down, Rex still misses his mother a little. In a way, you remind me of her, just a tad. Of Rex's mother? Really? Actually... He took me to say hello to his parents. Ah. You know, Rex wasn't born here in Fonset. He must have been two years old when he came ashore here with his poor mother. Maybe it was war or a dying titan, but they'd lost their home, sure enough. I gather it was a great struggle to get here. She was so weak. She asked me to look after Rex, and that was the last thing she said. She seemed so lovely too. And his father. We found his body about three titan peds away from here. He came so far, if only he'd made it a little farther. Such a sad business. How awful. That boy has suffered enough loss for one life. That's why he became a salvager, you know? To find some way up to Elysium. In that case, maybe it's not good for me to be by Rex's side after all. Why? Are you not fond of him? Oh, I am. But with me here, he'll suffer even more, lose even more. So maybe... Maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex, and the whole world, they don't need me. That's just how it feels. Now, dear. Okay, time to move out. See you soon, Rex! You take care now, and keep yourself out of trouble, Azurda. Ah, oh, you know me. I prefer the quiet life. Thank you for everything. Pirate, dear, I don't know what you've been through before, but you should know you're not alone anymore. Rex is a strong boy. You can depend on him whenever and wherever you need him. I know. I'll try. Huh. What was all that about? Nothing at all. Right? Nothing for your ears, Rex. You just concentrate on what you're doing. Work hard and do your best. Sure, I will. All right. I think after this little chat we're going to have here, um, I'm going to end it because that was a lot. And well, again, exactly why I can't make shorter videos of this. There's so many cutscenes that take up most of it, but it's really nice though. They're really nice cutscenes. These are really nice cutscenes. So we have to go to that island. I hope I don't forget it. Till next week. You know what? Oh, Bridget Peck. Here, let's actually do this before we go. Let's go 
over to here. Oh, wait, why do you have a trophy? Uh, Pyra asked me to teach her how to make the village specialty. Sweet. Here, let's put on all, all of our levels. Because I'm pretty sure we have a good bit. Oh, yes. Level 40. Level 40. Level 40. Okay. How about you? 42. And... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Tora, you were not there for like a whole good chunk of the of the last chapter. How were you level forty one? Um, sure. But level forty. More eggs forty two. Tora is apparently level forty one. But we're we're gonna go up there. I don't know if you heard cross that, but that was kind of fun. But we are going to be going up there. And we're going to save up there. Just so I do not forget where we have to go. And just so we're closer. Because up there is probably another cutscene anyway. We won't go too close. Because for some reason they like putting it like 70 meters or 100 meters. And then they just play the cutscene anyway. So we're probably gonna save the second we get up here. Yeah, we're we're gonna do that. You're not gonna. Okay, so we're going to save right here. We're gonna save right here. Or or you're gonna walk away. Okay, we're going to save right here because that guy's just standing there. So we'll end it here. Next time we'll go up to there. I'll try to avoid that guy before we actually start, and we'll see you next time.